that, ladies and gentlemen, was Jesse James, envisioned by director Henry King, scriptwriter Nunnally Johnson, and by the production values, the studios of 20th Century Fox. A lot of the events in it were right on. There was an awful lot of accuracy there, but I would put to you that the real Jesse was far more the killer than Henry King allowed in that film, far more the killer than they'd ever let Tyrone Power be, believe me. We're going to go now to a few TV Ontario uh, highlights, and I shall be promptly back here in the studio. Stay tuned for more Saturday Night at the Movies. A speeding car crashes across the Austro-Hungarian border in a hail of bullets, leaving in its wake an orphan. Billy. Billy Steinian. Left with only some artifacts, some letters, and many questions, Billy sets out to discover what happened to his parents, only to find that someone is determined that he never know the truth. Barriers, Wednesdays at 7 on TV Ontario. When his parents separate, a boy goes to spend the summer with his aunt in Pick Me Up at Peggy's Cove, Wednesday at 8.30 on Canadian Short Stories. The boy befriends an old fisherman, but also falls under the unwholesome influence of a troubled adolescent named Drummer. Drummer's a boy with a lot of problems. So am I. Pick me up at Peggy's Cove, Wednesday at 8.30 on Canadian Short Stories. Joan Reed Olson and Joe Lewis return for part two of last summer's North Winds Folk Festival to watch such performers as String Band, Garnet Rogers, Sneezy Waters, and Odetta. And to sample the fun and frolics that occurred during the festival. North Winds, Part 2, on People Patterns, Thursday at 8.30. Gerald Durrell returns to TV Ontario with a new series that will interest aspiring naturalists of all ages. In The Amateur Naturalist, Durrell and his wife Lee demonstrate how to observe, identify and care for all kinds of flora and fauna. They also discuss the safest and least expensive ways to study the ecology of various sites around the world. The Amateur Naturalist, a 13-part series, Saturday at 6.30, Mondays at 7 on TV Ontario. Friday at 10 on Strumpet City, Mary and Fritz join hands for better or for worse with touching simplicity. While a young, arrogant priest arrives in his new parish. May I inquire what brought you? I, I felt that life in a rich parish it was too easy. It, it was not why God called me to the priesthood. And on the labor scene, trouble's brewing. Monday morning, I think. It's the usual drill. We do a delivery to Morgan's Foundry every third Monday. They don't know what they're in for. Do you? Bringing despair and hardship to the poor of Strumpet City. You're not wanted in this house, nor your charity neither. When I see Father O'Connor, you may be sure I tell him, with <laughs> Episode 2 in the continuing story of Strumpet City and those who live there, Friday at 10 o'clock. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to continue our theme, which is the Western, we go to California for three very specific interviews. Three people who are involved in our two films tonight, or are involved in them. The first is Henry King, the director of Jesse James, the picture you've just seen. And indeed, Henry Fonda, whom we go to, too, is in that film. He becomes, however, the star of our second picture. John Carradine, who plays the bad guy, Bob Ford, is in both pictures tonight. Here we go now to California for these three specific interviews. The making of pictures in the old days compared to the making today, is there any comparison? No.